drinking buddies. I've been waiting all night in line for whiskey. Was it worth it? Let's find out. I'm your drinking buddy. All right, drinking buddies. So before we begin the haul from the fries event that I've been waiting in all night, I, there's a couple bottles that I got to cover that I got outside of that. So for this haul, we'll begin with, I got a 139.9 proof Stag Junior pick or Stag pick, sorry, not Stag Junior. Wow. Um, this is the second Stag pick I've gotten and I got it like a week and a half after the other Stag pick that I got in the last video. Like who would have thought that something that had been elusive to me for so long, I would double up on pretty quickly. Really cool, did a trade for this. Um, that's where I got it. I wasn't able to find it at retail, but I did a trade for it. And yeah, I'm really excited to pop this one. I'm gonna have to do a stag video, stag flight video. Um, but yeah, uh, I am really tired. I've been up all night, basically. One. Uh, Garrison Brothers sent me a four ounce sample of this cowboy bourbon. It's 140.9 proof. I did already review this, but you guys haven't seen it yet. So that'll be coming out soon. Um, yeah, I'll save it for the review, but I mentioned this one too, because it's signed by M master distiller, Donis Todd. This is number one of number two, uh, signed bottles that I got here today. All right. So the fries event, the main event here, uh, all the rest of the bottles came from that. Um, it started at 8 a.m. this morning and people were waiting 24 hours in advance. And when you see the list, which I'm going to post here, um, I think you'll probably be thinking, why? Why were people waiting 24 hours? And I think it's just because these rumors kind of get out of control and they start to steamroll and snowball and you eventually end up with events like this um, where people are waiting so far in advance. It's very interesting because there was rumors of birthday bourbon. There was no birthday bourbon. There was rumors of, um, there was rumors of Russell's 13. There was no Russell's 13. There was rumors of Maker's Cellar Age, which by the way is another bottle that I got that you might not have seen that I got, but I've already done a review of that. So that's why it's up there, but that is in my most recent haul. So let's include Maker's Cellar Age in that. Why not? Didn't get this at Fry's, but anyway, drinking buddies, uh, the hype got to, to the people, the folks down here in Tucson and the folks in Phoenix and before you knew it, uh, there was tons of people in line. So I was laying in bed and I couldn't really sleep. And so I said, screw it. I'm going to go early. And I got there at about midnight and I was so eight hours before the event starts. And, um, I was about 45th in line, something like that. And I was able to get what I wanted, the top one on my list of the bottles that they got. So I definitely think that's cool. But you'll have to be the judge. You're going to have to tell me in the comments below if you think waiting eight hours is worth this haul that I'm about to show you. And wow, uh, I don't necessarily know if it is, but it is a pretty good haul. So first up, I'll have a review of this out soon. This was actually a gift from a subscriber there, friend at the, the event. This is called Barman seven, uh, 1873 Bourbon. This is Coors whiskey and it's signed by a Daniel Kors. She was a moonshiner shot by Adolf Kors. He was signing the bottles there. Um, it's 92 proof. It's a blend of straight bourbon whiskeys out of Kentucky. Um, we don't know who uh, distilled it, but probably Barton. Anyway, Coors whiskey. I'm sure that there can't be anything wrong with that. I'm sure it's perfect, um, but that was a, that was a gift. So that's pretty cool. Um, now for these events, you can pick one of the bottles on table one and one of the bottles on table two. So the first time I went through, I got a bottle on table one and then I got a bottle on table two. And so the bottle on table two that I picked up was a Weller Special Reserve, 25 bucks. Um, I probably didn't need it. The second time I went through, most of the good stuff was gone, but on table one, I was still able to get an E.H. Taylor small batch. So pretty good score there, 40 bucks. You know, the, the fact that those are still $40 at retail still blows my mind when basically every other whiskey on the market has dramatically gone up. And then the last one on the, in the hall here um, is a bottle that I think was at the top of my list of the bottles that they got and I was still able to get it. 
Um, and that is another stag pick. This is 132 proof, it's a fries pick. And now we have completed the vertical. I have three, well, I don't know if that's a vertical. Anyway, I have three stag picks now. So I'm gonna have to throw those in a video that's upcoming. But the question still remains. One, two, three, four whiskeys, eight hours. I could have bought one of these myself and got another E.H. Taylor small batch, or I could have not gotten this and gotten a Blanton's Gold, or not gotten this and gotten an Elmer T. Lee, or a E.H. Taylor single barrel, or um, a Jack 12. But um, this is, you know, unique. It's a, it's a pick. I'm, I, I generally am going to lean picks first, and I think that maybe that's advice I can give to you. When you're in these situations and you have to pick quickly and you don't have a lot of time, you know, kind of choose what you'd want the most in advance. And, you know, that does allow for a little bit of disappointment if they're gone, but it also allows you to narrow it down and move the line quicker. And I generally lean picks, store picks. So anyway, drinking buddies, was it worth it to get these four bottles to wait eight hours in line? Um, now keep in mind that that time wasn't wasted. That was time spent talking to whiskey fans and getting to know subscribers. Some of you guys out there were at this event, you know, talking to some good friends um, at this event. And uh, so therefore, I definitely, it wasn't wasted four hours, even if I got no bottles because I got to just, you know, talk and hang out with nice people. So uh, I think that's a win in and of itself. So that's, that's the extra bottle I got here was good times with friends <laughs> and subscribers. So, um, but yeah. Would you wait in line eight hours for these four bottles? Well, drinking buddies, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you, uh, before you get out of here, please like the video and uh, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And last up, I have a channel membership down below. Uh, it's a great community we got building there um, where we do, uh, I do a monthly giveaway. We just got a great community growing there. We're doing a fantasy football league this year. And uh, yeah, it's just a, a really nice community we got building up there. Anyway, drinking buddies, thank you so much for watching. See you on the next one.